Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. So I have been getting multiple requests to create a session on to differentiate the difference between JBoss, JBoss AS, Wildfly, JBoss EAP. Okay, so uh, I have posted few uh, other videos as well earlier. Okay, so now this specifically this short video I am preparing uh, to give you the difference between all these four terms. Okay, uh, which is all related with the JBoss application server. Okay, so now let us start with uh, the JBoss first. Okay, so initially uh, when JBoss came in picture, okay, this is somewhere around in 1999. Uh, okay, so JBoss was an uh, a company or you can say JBoss was an organization, okay, which was founded by the Mark Flurry. Okay, the name of the guy was Mark Flurry, F-L-E-U-R-Y. Okay, so this Mark Flurry. Uh, has founded an organization uh, and he has given the name to JBoss and this is somewhere in the 1999, right? So that time, uh, with respect to this JBoss, okay, which was the name of the organization which was founded, okay, there were multiple other products were also there in the JBoss. It's not about the application server only, okay? There are multiple JBoss products. Uh, for example, uh, there was the JBoss BPM, and then there was JBoss uh, Rule Engine, and then uh, JBoss Seam, JBoss Seam, okay, which was the web framework, and along with that, there was uh, JBoss Application Server. Okay, so these all were the open source uh, softwares, okay, which was founded by the Mark Query. Right. So, out of all the products, okay, that time, okay, uh, this was the most popular product, okay, which was the JBoss application server. Okay. So, that meant at that time, the name of the organization that was founded, it was JBoss and inside the JBoss, there were multiple uh, products. There were long list of multiple open source products, but the most famous product was JBoss application server. So, that time the initial versions was something like 2.x, uh, 3.x and then 4.x, okay. So, these were the initial version and those all versions were like JBoss uh, 2.x, JBoss 3.x, JBoss 4.x, something like that one, okay. So, this was the history of your, this JBoss, right. Now, let us come to JBoss AS, okay. So, now, in 2006, the Red Hat organization acquired this JBoss, okay. Now, after acquiring the JBoss, okay, it was renamed to JBoss AS, JBoss AS, which is uh, showing the JBoss application server and why it was renamed as JBoss application server because there were multiple products under the JBoss, right? As I said, uh, business process and then rule engine and then web framework and then multiple more other products were there under the JBoss. So, to differentiate it, uh, JBoss application server from the other JBoss product, okay, it was renamed to JBoss AS and it is in 2006 when Red Hat acquired the JBoss, right? Now, from there, uh, if you can say from JS AS onward, uh, you probably you will see the versions like 5.x, 6.x and something 7.x, okay. So, now from uh, uh, 2006 onward, when the Red Hat acquired the JBoss and renamed to it JBoss AS, okay. So, you will see the versions as JBoss uh, AS 5.x, then JBoss AS 6.x and similarly you will see uh, JBoss AS. 7.x something like this one right so this was the history of your jboss as so this was still open source okay and it was uh, governed by the red hat and along with that there were multiple community contributors are also there for the open source versions of the uh, jboss as <clears throat> right so that means overall the red hat uh, uh, red hat employees developers along with the community members were contributing for uh, to develop this open source uh, community application server which is the JBoss AS. Okay. So now after that in 2013 this uh, open source JBoss AS is renamed to Wildfly by the Red Hat. Wildfly. 
okay and this is in 2013 which is renamed to wildfly by the uh, red hat red hat from jboss as2 wildfly okay and the commercial version of the jboss was renamed or was released with the jboss eap enterprise application server in 2013 right so why they renamed it to differentiate between the open source community version and the paid version okay so this wildfly which is the uh, successor of the jboss as okay and it is renamed in 2013 so that means after jboss 7.x somewhere uh, jboss 7.x was the the last version in the in the as version and after that whatever the 8 9 or whatever the version that we have later uh, later apart that all you will see as a wildfly and there is a separate website for this one okay so you will have a separate website for wildfly and for jboss as as well okay that is that means for the older versions of the jboss right now as i said to differentiate between the open source and commercial version so they renamed to the wildfly so now wildfly is the open source community version of the jboss application server and this jboss eap enterprise application server okay this is the paid version paid version of your jboss from the red hat and what do you mean paid version there is no licensing fees because this is still governed by the open source licensing scheme okay but you have to pay only for the support right support in the sense you are using the uh, enterprise application server and it has the multiple some other enhanced feature which is which you may not found in the wildfly so that means this paid version is some an enhanced version of the open source community version which has the multiple some other features which you can use in your production environment right along with that red hat is giving you the support right so what is the support so with the open source we have a drawback that if you are going to use the open source in production and if you get stuck anywhere okay there where you're feeling that there could be a bug in the software or there is some issues that you are not able to troubleshoot then you will not get the support because it is an open source which is uh, developed and contributed by the community members so what you need to do in that case to get the support you go to the community website you post your questions and then you have to wait for to get the answers from the multiple community members right there is no certain time period for that one how much time it will take and if it is definitely going to resolve the issues or not so to avoid that kind of a things if you are going to use the jboss in production we go with the jboss eap from the red hat and then we get the support so that means if you encountered any issues there you can open a ticket with the red hat okay and that will be resolved on the priority right and along with that you will get the multiple uh, uh, patches as well patches and and fixes from the red hat as well to apply for your jboss eap right so this is the all history of uh, the jboss jboss as wildfly and jboss eap so let me quickly recap you jboss is the initial uh, organization which was founded by the mark perry in 1999 that time there are multiple products were under the jboss and the most popular was jboss application server and that time versions were 2.x 3.x and 4.x okay and later in 2006 red hat acquired this jboss and it was renamed to jboss as jboss application server okay and after that you will see the version as jboss as 5.x jboss as 6.x jboss as 7.x something like that one okay 2013 jboss as renamed to wildfly from the red hat okay uh, to make a differentiate between the open source version and the commercial version so open source version of jboss is wildfly and the commercial version is jboss eap and for this commercial version you get a support from the red hat and for that you have to pay the licensing fees so this is the time period when these softwares were renamed and why they were renamed what was the purpose of that now hope this uh, information is clear to you thank you